it's nice outside today and I like to get out to walk in the garden a little bit. So I like to show you my garden. In springtime, let me adjust this a little bit. In springtime, I might walk a lot in the garden and I will show my garden, hopefully. So it's, I think it's about 50 degrees at least and that's uh, March. Let me check the calendar here. Today is March 8th. And I believe it's at least 50 degrees. And I heard my husband say that it's going to be about 60 in the afternoon. So I'm just done cooking lunch. And I wanted to go outside to put some peas in the ground. Peas. They are uh, green peas, so you have to plant them early in spring. So even if it's snow later, I think they should be fine. Peas, onion, potatoes, they go in the ground very early. So, but I don't, I don't know how the weather is going to be. And I don't like to be outside when it's cold. So I'm just going to go out there and put them in the ground. and I'll plant them in the front yard so without charging my camera I don't know how long I'll be able to film the garden but I like to show you a little bit before so and while we are talking I like to show you my seeds that I collect myself and by the way this one don't let me be able to see it but I planted and harvested in 2017 so this seed uh, shelled seed. So that means when I harvest it, I have to remove the shell. We cannot eat the shell. So uh, in 2017, this is when I harvested and I saved the seeds. In 2018, I planted, I think I harvest a lot and I planted them back in 2018. But it didn't do well for me to save my own seed, so I end up having just this. That's how I save money by growing my own our own food. And I still don't know if it does save money though, but there are things that if I didn't grow it, I wouldn't have purchased them uh, in in the store because they are just expensive out of my price range. So that I know for sure, but as um, my goal is to save money by growing some of my own food, I try to keep the cost low, but there is some uh, original costs that were high from the start that is to face the garden. But after that, buying seeds, I like to save my own seed as much as possible. And here I have some that I save. I wrap, they are more like the summer ones. I might have a lot of tomatoes here. And I didn't have melon. Feel bit to see it. I have melons here. And I didn't save seeds from kale as well. And what I do with kale, I let them go to seed and I'll just let them stay and the next year they will show up in the garden. So I do that quite a bit. And sometimes I'll have a sound to just stay. So this one is what chives. So chives since 2017. Usually onions, families, they don't last long, I think. But I have them here. I didn't even remove them from, from the flower head. So I have a lot of them here. And what I start doing when I start saving seed is to buy seed in bulk. So if you are into growing food, you might want to think about buying your food in bulk. And I like to purchase mine from Fedco. I have tried multiple uh, supplies online and I like most of them. But Fedco is a good one as well. You can find organic with them as well. And when I buy it in bulk, I will plant it and then I will save the rest. And then I will plant it the next year. Especially the onions, even the perennials one, I do the same thing until they take off. And then I will start propagating my own. And zucchini, 
You know, when I grow zucchini, I'll just let one plant grow all the way and then I'll harvest the seed. And that's, you know, a lot of seeds here. And I don't know if you to see it, but that's that. So, and I will write things on it. Zucchini, regular variety, harvest seed, 2018 in fall. Cut and bake on March 23rd of 2019. Set seed to dry, fall 13, 2019. Wrap seeds, July 13, 2019. So uh, sometimes I will write those information so that I can remember the story behind the seeds. So that's a plan that did well in the uh, the zucchini lasts long in my basement without any special treatments. So, and I was able to eat it in March after harvesting it in fall. So I saved the seed so that I can reuse, you know, so that I can replant it again. And because I, the way I garden, it might be different from the way many people garden. I like to save my own seeds because I don't really baby my garden at all. I don't water and I don't weed. So if I'm there to weed, things I'm going to eat the weed or I'm going to mulch the, the garden with the, with the weeds because a lot of weeds in the garden that we try to uh, to remove most of some of them if i don't want to say most of them some of them are edible so i like to harvest some to add to what i'm cooking and i'll, I'll harvest some to mulch if they are you know outgrowing what i'm growing i'll just hold them and mulch the garden with it so the way i i'm a little bit rough with my garden and i don't have time to baby it i prefer to harvest my own seeds so that they get used to the environment that they grow in and do better. So that's the, one of the goals as well. And I have a lot of seeds here, you can see some that I purchased, I didn't use them all, and I have some that I saved myself. But buying, in fact, I just came across some seeds here as well. And when I have leftovers, I'll, I'll try to put the package in it so that I remember which one is it. So that's uh, because some of them are snap peas. If you can eat the shell, some of them you cannot eat the shell. I won't plant both of them in the same area because the kids are the one that snacks on those things in the garden. So I will, if there are two different ones, I will plant one at the back and one at the front so that they know that. This one, they can eat it with the shell, and this one, they cannot. So if we go further, I'll just continue digging to see what I'm going to find here. And this is the leftover of, I believe, beets. That's a type of beets I purchased in bulk. For some reason, beets don't do well in my garden. In fact, this is not beet, it's Swiss, Swiss char. So I have leftovers of that. And those are leftovers when I purchase them in box. And I'll keep them. This one is cabbage. Early, early jersey. Wall feed cabbage. And I have leftovers of as well. And I know that I have a lot of, and as you can see, I have burn or squash. But I have a lot of tomatoes, you know, all of this is my own seeds. And I'll put the year on them as well. It's very easy to harvest your own seed. It's just a little work. So, a corn squash. And this one is spaghetti, spaghetti squash. That lasts long in, in the basement as well. So, they are just those varieties that when I get, you know, the do they did well in the basement? I'll try to, to 
to save that specific seed and have a note on it so that I can see if I can grow it again. I can just, you know, preserve that variety. I have a corn squash here, but you can see those are the packages that some of them came in and I might have some salad. Uh, two years ago, I purchased a lot of salads seeds, lettuce seeds in bulk and I planted them and they grew well to the point that I harvested a lot of, a lot of seeds and I will show you later my own lettuce seeds and this is a lettuce seed as well from the bulk that I purchased so that's a lot of seeds right here so and I have them so if you, you want to purchase seeds, you might just purchase them online and purchase the bulk. I think it saves a little bit of money if you do it, especially the way I grow, because sometimes I just don't, I mulch my garden a lot. That's why I don't water. So when I go to, uh, to plant my things, instead of trying to dig and plant them, I just spread them around. So for that reason, I really need a lot of seed to do that because sometimes they get buried in the in the in the mulch, and then they'll grow a year or two years later. When some of them will grow the same year, depending on where they fall, you know. So let's put those seeds, and then I will show you other seeds that I have. But today, I'm just going to work on the peas. And I think it's nice outside. I might just try to go there and put it in the ground before it gets cold again. Last year, I didn't grow peas. I think so. In 2018, they didn't do well for me. And I didn't grow any last year. But since I still have them, you can just put in the ground. We never know, you know, I just let it to the nature to do its own thing. So let's get going. But let me show you the other seeds that I have harvested as well. You saw the one that I have here, that I brought here. Let's see what we have here. So I have, I have this jar here, doesn't have anything, and this is lettuce. Let's see if you can see it. So 2017 is when I harvested, and that's my own seeds. I just let it grow to seeds. We ate a lot of lettuce that year, and I just let it go to seeds, and I harvest those and this is tomato so that's that 2017 as well so that's a lot of seeds right here I don't need to buy tomato seeds if I want to grow them so that's here let's see what else I have here this one does not have any this one has paper but I'm not sure it'll do my papers don't do well in my garden so and look at this one here and that's lettuce as well and that's a lot that's a lot of seeds I don't even know how many years they last but that's a lot of seeds so I still have the one that I purchased from um, the supplier Fedco, but you can see here that I harvested that year, two, 2017, I harvested quite a bit of lettuce seeds, you know, I, we ate lettuce, but we just let it go to seeds and we harvest them. So this one is lemon slicing. So 2017 as well. Now let's look at some bees. Don't know if I put a note on this one. I didn't. And that's uh, Kentucky Wonders that I like to purchase. 
and last year they did very well in the garden 2018 they did extremely well and here i have some of them and something that do well in my garden is um parsnets and this one is 2017 I think I didn't, I didn't wear it to a I think it was full and then I used it last year because I have the pound on it and I believe it was when it was full from 2018 but I planted it last year. Parsnet, when you let it go to seed, it can come back like, it can be evasive, people tend to say. So that's what I'm trying to reach so that I have an alternative of carrots in the garden that I can just go to. So they do well in the garden and I have some here and this is the bean. You can see them here, 2017, 25 ounces when I waited, but I planted last year. So last year I didn't purchase the, the, the beans, I just grew my own. So I still have this one here. And look at this one, Kentucky Wonder, that's the name, Paul Beans, that's what I grow, 25 ounces, 2017, the jar is ball, uh, four quart jar, see how full it is, I just even open it, and that's pretty much it for the beans, so I have it in 2017, and I planted it in 2019, so I have them here, along with my canned jars. And I have, oh, let me show you. I've been down a little bit to see it. I can this, no, I didn't can it. Like, it's lato fermented green bean 2018. Six tablespoons of salt for one gallon of water. Do you see it? Like, it's in the basement. Since August 24th, 2018, or August 26th, 2018, I can't even read my hands writing properly, and it has been in the basement ever since. I have never opened it. I watched it fermented for a while, and then I tied the lid and I put it in the basement. And I can just show you where I took it from because there is a second one there. I just took it from the bottom there, so with along with that, so I'm going to take this one as well. Yes, Jaden, go eat. Jaden, go eat. Go eat your food, okay? So, and this one is the same day 24th that i made it so i don't know if we will eat it though but it was just experimental to see if i can flato fermented and i didn't open it they seal quite tight but i don't know there is something growing in it too so when i open it probably i will toss it i will smell it and i will toss it but i don't know if you can see it but i'm pressing it it's not even making a noise so that means it's still tight yeah so they came from the garden clean it up and then I fermented and this one is what this one is um, Oh, that's a weed from the garden. I should have put something on it. But uh, then the line, then the line from the garden, that's the roots that I chop up, put in the oven to dry it out. I think it's good for a lot of things that I didn't even use it for. So I have it here. But just to show you, oh, and this. Um, I have done a video on, um, I have to do a video on this one. That's group from the garden that I can last year. Let's see if I can find, I'm pulling them from here. 
and that's the second one here. Let's see if I can find a space here to take them out of the box. A lot of time I will write on the lid. Don't know if you're to read it. I haven't used a lid that I use for something else. But you can see 2000, um, September 7, 2019, grape juice. I think it's in the green color. I don't know how many I made. So far I found three. This one, I can it with the whole fruits in it, even the seeds as well. So I'm going to put it back. And when I did, I was thinking that maybe over the holiday, I will take it out so that we can have some juice, but I didn't. So they are here and I have, here you'll see I have some green, uh, some green beans that I didn't take out of the shell. They, I harvested them last year, I believe. I still have Hold on, let me turn this so that you can see better. I think I'm going to bring them to the office while I'm charging my camera to show you. I'm going to go get them. And this one is from last year. The green bean. I have a this portion toward the end of the season, but it was so rainy that we have those uh, moldy things on the on them before I harvest them. But I harvest them either way, and they are good. But I just think I thought over winter I will just work on them, but I didn't. And this one is past net, and from last year. And I didn't take them out of the flower head either. I did many, but some, but I didn't do all of it. And this one, I believe is from 2018, and that's a lot. I even have some okra here, but I don't even know. Yeah. I, Interestingly, I didn't come around to work on this, this at all. So we have it, but I think it's now from 2000, I don't know if it's from 2019 or 2018. I think it's from 2018. And I think this one is from 2018 as well. And this one, I'm kind of surprised I didn't see this. The things there to show you. I don't even know if they are still good in it, but that's the type of bean that I planted last year, but they didn't grow for me the way I want it. This is kind of moldy here, but yeah, I have those things that I need to go through, and this is a piece as well. And I also they are from 2018. Let me see if another one is in good shape. Yeah, I had to go through those seeds to see if they are worth it or if I can just put them in the garden to... Yeah, some of them are in good shape. Yeah, that's a type of bean. I don't know how... I don't remember the name, but I will I will remember and I will put it in the description if I remember. Yeah, I have them they can look very pretty so that's how I garden 
anything that I can save the seed, I like to do that. So let's go outside to see if we can put some seeds in the ground. I don't show you the whole garden, but I'm just going to show you where I'm going to work. And once again, I mulch a lot. This year, I called the city for wood mulch, and they said they don't deliver anymore. So I just mulch with fall leaves. But the past few years, I mulch with wood chips, like. They just burn trucks of wood trees on my driveway a few times and I use them to mulch. Let me see if I can close this properly. And there is a lot of things here that can go in the garden early too, but I'm not going to. Yeah, this is a shelfie as well. Lincoln shelfie. So chances are this one might be too. So since they are all shel shelfies, if I want to, I have time, I can just walk on all of them in the garden. Put them all at the front. So I can close this. And I will put my jacket on, even if it's nice outside. I'm sure after a few minutes, I'm going to feel very cold. So, I'm going to, uh, probably I may not need my hat, but I'll put my jacket on. And my husband is at home, so I'm sure the kids are just fine, playing, screaming, can just profit of this moment to go outside and get something down there and I'll come back inside. So I'm going to take you and we will go. Make sure everything is secure here. And I'm just going to put my things away here. I think it was like this. So, and I have these ratings on it, and that is done. So, let me turn this light off here. Can I just put my shoes on? Get the seeds. I think I need my gloves. I put it in my pocket. And we are good to go. So, 
the kid went outside this uh, morning. And I have feeling like they didn't organize their things in the garage. In the garage. Well, Okay, so now we are outside. But that's the backyard. And we are not going to plant here. So let's go to the plant. And first, let me see if I can lower um, the leg of my tripod as much as possible. Hmm. Okay. And that's my front yard. And I have a garden here. And that's just my kitchen right there. And I will come from the front here to harvest onion and some sorrel while I'm cooking. So I really like to have my kitchen garden, herb garden right here. So it really was important for me to have a fence. Because we have deer around, so it was very important to have this fence and I used concrete wire. That was quite pricey, but the garden was that important for me. So uh, let me make sure I close the garden. We have chicken wire around the fence as well to avoid to stop bunnies from getting inside. They are bad. So as you can see, I have a lot of leaves in the ground and a lot of um, wood chips as well. So that really helps because during winter time we have a lot of snow. You know, it won't when it melt, it won't um, flow to the streets or to the uh, storm. How they call it, like those big holes that we have. Anyway, it won't go into the sewer, should I say? It, I just retain it in my garden. So, and when you rain during the year, it doesn't drain, it doesn't run out of the garden either. It stays, you know, instead of doing it on the side. Yeah, I think I'll do it in, from inside. I have fence within fence because my fence is not tall. I have fence within fence. So that confuses deer and they don't jump in. And as you can see, I have um, strawberries. Can you imagine? They are green. So let me move this a little bit. So that you can see what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to be planting along the fence. That's how I'm using the fence. To protect the garden and to use it as a vertical garden as well. So let me adjust you a little bit yeah it is a challenge to use the camera in the garden well it's nice enough that i can take my gloves off and i can just start growing so I have strawberries growing around and a lot of time I like to plant it from the outside though. I don't know why I decided to come inside. 
but it doesn't matter I think I'm just going to do it anyway and I don't know if you can see where I am but I'm going to put some in, in it you'll see so I will dig some holes and I'll just plant and peas you can plant them like two inches apart or something like that so that I'm going to continue doing that so they are going to be close each other yes Jaden and I'm just going to be planting all the way my fence and let me show you little bit things that I have here probably I won't film the whole um, things but I can just show you things that are growing and this is Soro I, I live in zone 5 so we have winter and it's March today is March 8th and that is Soro it's a green that I use for salad for like to replace lettuce to replace spinach in cooking in salad and you can see that it has been well mulched and is green so pretty soon when the weather come, becomes a little bit warm it will start growing very fast here i have onion and that's perennial onions egyptian onions right there so in spring i will have food growing in my garden very early without doing anything because they are just here and this is parsnip that i'll show you the seed that's the plant right here so the seed that fell in the ground last year they grew a little bit in fall and they are here so what else can i show you i can show you my grapes i have my grapes here as well I don't know if you can see the thing so later when the weather is good like today for example i will come and trim them i have a lot of fruit trees and this is um current so some of them are white some of them are black some of them are red so i have them all here and as you can see this is a grape and those are not my best one we'll see how they'll do this year but the concord is my best um the one that does well for me i have garlic here growing as well so that's my garden as you can see all the way fully mulched with leaves and I will be showing it quite a bit during spring and fall I have peppermint here that's what I used to make live soap peppermint soap I have a lot of it in the garden and I'll have it to mulch I'll have it to dry and I'll have it to make soap so we have a lot of apple trees around here as well and that's a front yard this one is an apple tree here and we have I don't know how those are called anymore but I have two of them well I might remember and I have um, yeah I have a lot of things here later I'll remember them but you can see that I have never cleaned the I have not cleaned the garden in fall so now that the weather is getting warmer I will come out and I will cut those ends those dead trees and just let them mulch and decompose in the ground in place and that's uh, aricho, Jerusalem artichokes or uh, sun trucks that's that here so technically when I remove those I should dig to get them out or they will grow back so they are here I have blackberry and I have a lot of things and all here is Jerusalem artichokes here so they are the ones that produce these branches here so and I have soro here as well growing back I have a, a lot of them and what I do they are perennials what I do is after they originally grew after I planted them I just harvest 
uh, I'll dig some and I'll replant it and I'll let them go to seed as well. So now as you can see, I have a lot of raspberries cane along that the kids, when they come home from school or in the morning on their way out to the car, they will just harvest some from uh, along, the, uh, along the fence, they'll harvest some strawberries. And this is a curing. I don't know why I planted on the pathway, but I think it's the best time for me to dig it out before it grow back. In fact, while we are here, let me see if I'm ready to do that. I'm not using the white tool to dig something like that, but I will dig it out and replant it somewhere so that it's not on the pathway. So that's my front yard that I wanted to show you. I have a lot of raspberry strawberries here. And I have onion, a lot of onion there as well. So I'm going to get down and start planting my peas. It's very nice outside. And I think that's the right time to get them in the ground. I have some garlic here. I don't eat my garlic cloves. I just eat the leaves so that the garlic can stay and grow. So garlic is a perennial and they have been in my garden for a few years now. I used to dig them, dry them and replant them in the fall. And I think this year I did that just to um, propagate them, split the cloves apart and replant it. But I didn't dig everything out of the garden. And the way I did it, as soon as I harvested them, I replant them pretty much around the same time. In like end of fall, way before, you know, no, not end of fall, end of summer, way before the time that you should plant it, them. Because they start the right time to plant them, they can, it can be cold outside. And I don't like to be in the garden when it's cold. So I just harvested them a day. It was nice to be outside, walk on it, and replant them the same day because they have been in the ground year around in my garden. So what will be the point to harvest them and wait until um, early winter to plant them? So that's that. That's how I experiment with my garden to see what work well and what plants can do well with, you know, the way I treat them. I don't have a lot of time to spend in the garden. And I try to do, to plant a lot of perennials. That way I work on them once and they grow and I just harvest them wisely so that I don't destroy the plants. Thank you for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune, Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com. One way we try to live within our budget and not and spend less than we earn is to grow some of our own vegetables so that we can eat organic food as without pain you know without spending a lot of money on it so i'm just going to see how far my battery will go before it will die so i'm just going to continue planting and and just let the camera run until it is out of power. And I probably just put this down so that you can watch me plant. Let's see if I can find a nice spot to put it. Okay. It's very important when you are planting very early like this to plant a little bit deep for that same reason that birds will come and eat some of them. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So I usually I will just like plant a very shallow 
But I noticed that some of them will be eaten by birds. So I'll try to go deep a little bit since I don't have a lot of seed to work with. And I'm not comfortable planting here for that same reason that I'm walking in my strawberries. You know, it's good to plant this side of the garden when they are still dormant. But because they are so well mulled, they don't seem to be sleeping at all. Because I have a lot of perennials in the garden, I'm going to try not to dig. Like, I'll just take, move the leaves, go a little bit under, and that's pretty much it. And that's an apple tree here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And it's called Scarlet, Senti Scarlet Sent Sentinel Apple. I can show you the tag here. Let's see if I can pull it out here for you to see it. And that's that. It's not tall at all. And hopefully this year it'll produce for the first time. We will see. So let's get back to work. There are some onions. That's Egyptian onions. They bob. They, they grow. They grow uh, onions on top and onion in the ground. So this one is the top one. I like to harvest and replant it. So when they fall like this, they grow. Sometimes I just have to use my fingers because I have so much in the ground that I won't do much of digging. So that's another apple tree here. And let's see if we can look at the tag here. Can you see it? No pull column now apple. So usually they're supposed to just grow like one tree, one trunk. But mine is branching out. So that's the original trunk, I believe. I'm not yeah, I think so. That's the grass area here. But it grew another branch out here so now they are two i let them grow to see what they'll do and i feel like they will grow apple this year 
because of those things. That's why they will grow on. We'll see. It, it, my garden is like an experimental lab for me. I learned so much from. So let me put you down. And we can continue our thing. So I have grapes on this side. And peas and beans, they feed nitrogen. So that's been good to plant them, you know, in the garden. Along with my perennials, my food trees. What I'm doing right now is just moving the leaves and putting it down. I've been digging in the ground. 